dangers of salt bait that I think you all should know about. Yes, yeah, salt is very good in cleansing, in removing negativity, in doing this, in doing that. Trust me, there's always side effects. And I'm going to tell you the side effect that you can come across when using salt or salt bait generally. So whenever you are using salt, you should be conscious of this particular video. That is why I'm bringing it to you here. Okay, so guys, before we continue on this amazing spiritual tips, if today is your first time tuning in or seeing my face, you're highly welcome. Please do well by hitting on the red subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, so you always be the first to be notified whenever there is a new upload on this channel to my amazing subscribers. Thanks for always coming back. I truly appreciate you. So as I was saying, I'm going to be showing you some dangers of salt cleansing or salt bits that we do not know about. Yes, salt does wonder if used properly, but can also be dangerous when used abnormal. I don't know whether you understand. Number one is over cleansing. You know that is what they call over cleansing. Yes, when they ask you, yeah, cleanse, you want to cleanse, you can cleanse to the extent that you, you, you feel empty. You do not even feel retained. You are not retaining anything. Even when you use a particular product or soap you know, to attract things to you, then you are using that particular salt in excess. will always make you feel empty. Yes, it can make you feel empty and disconnected. So always make sure you balance it. Whenever you are feeling somehow, you can do cleansing. But it should not be something that you always do every day, morning, Tuesday, afternoon, Wednesday. You do it every day of your life from month to month, years to year, January to December. No. Cleansing can be done probably once a week, once a month, depending on you. I don't know whether you understand, depending on where you go and all that. You do not just do cleansing every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. It is not supposed to be. I don't know whether you understand. Secondly, you know, salt absorbs negative energy. So it's always important that you dispose those salt properly, especially when you use it for cleansing. There are people that use it for normal body cleansing. They don't put it inside water. They just hold it on their hand, use it and cleanse their self, trash it. You probably dispose it. If not, it retains that negativity within that place that you trash it. I don't know whether you understand. It is important you dispose it properly, properly. You don't just stand throw it anyhow it doesn't work that way and that is why whenever you are with me on this channel I, I always tell you always follow procedure always follow instruction don't do your own don't when they say you seven seeds of sea salt you, you want to go and use 14 or you want to go and use eight because you are double or you feel the salt does not have no once you're asked to use that seven and sure you use it there are reasons for me telling you to use seven and not eight if i want you to use eight i can say okay use eight if i want to say okay just use a handful make sure you work accordingly don't just use things without understanding the meaning of what you are doing especially in case of spirituality three there are a lot of people that focuses more on salt bits that they do not do any other bit like i said too much of everything is not good people that do um cleansing for like maybe monday to friday and before they do another cleansing will be probably another month you shouldn't overuse it i don't know whether you understand fourth do not force it when you do not believe in it there's a lot of people that use this um, salt. They don't believe in it. They are just doing it for doing sake of probably people did it and they got testimony and they, they, they feel overwhelmed and they want to get a particular testimony or they want to get similar testimony. Then they are forced to do it. If you do not believe in using salt to bait, if you do not believe it's for cleansing, then do not use it. If you do not believe that you can use salt, don't bother using it. It is not a mandatory something. It's something that has to do with your spirit because your spirit has to align with what you're doing. If you do not believe in it, do not push further. Just stay on your lane or continually use water. You can actually use ordinary water to pray and bait without even adding anything. I don't know whether you understand. So if your spirit do not align with using salt, then just let it be. Then the fifth one is the natural one that we already know that too much of it can cause some people irritation, body irritation and all that. You know, there's also some people that does not make use of salt on their skin. Once they salt or salt water, they react to it. I don't know whether you understand. That's the physical one. I don't know whether you understand. So if you know you have that particular issue, your body doesn't accept salt, then you shouldn't go for salt. There are other um, related um things or items you can use for cleansing aside from salt you can always look for the ones that your body works well with do not force yourself 
in doing things that others are doing because you feel hey, others are doing there are some things that can work for you better than that particular thing that is working for that other person i don't know whether you understand so it's important you are um intentional and mindful about the way you sort depends on your own spirit i don't know whether you understand you just have to be mindful on how you use it and when you need to use it because normally salt avert dangers in fact very very strong to avert dangers salt does a lot of things you can use it for money you can use it for a lot of things pray for a lot of things but your ability or the way you use that particular salt also matters so do not use in essence if your spirit does not align with salt just leave it. It is not everybody that their spirit aligns with it. So if your spirit does not align with it, just let it be. I don't know that you understand, okay? So I don't want to talk too much on this. I believe you've gotten my point. So if you are on this channel, so if you watch this particular video to the very last end, you will see that salt has a lot of advantages than disadvantages. And the disadvantages are for people that do not use it properly. So you should always make sure you use the salt properly. Ask questions. Always make sure you follow instructions on each videos. I don't know whether you understand. Don't just use because others are using it. Testimonies are flowing. You want to try your luck. Always make sure your spirit aligns with it. So guys, I'll see you on my next video. We actually done on today's video. On this channel, we share health and spiritual tips that is helpful to everybody on this world entirely. Make sure you like this video. Share it to friends, family, loved ones. Everybody needs this. And as well, make sure you're subscribing, you're following us. If you like this video, you comment, you share. You understand just tell us how you have been using salt whether you have been getting positive feedback or negative feedback how is your salt cleansing life like like how do you make use of salt i'll see you guys on my next video i'll be under the comment section to read comments on the danger of salt cleansing